Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, SciTaker. In this video, I'm going to the Genshin Impact review on the iQOO 9 SE device. Yes, friends, recently I'm getting so many comments asking me to upload a video on this Genshin Impact. So by using the game frame interpolation, you can actually play the Genshin Impact at 90 FPS in the iQOO 9 SE device. So that's what I'm going to use exactly in this video using 90 FPS. Let's see how much high temperatures the phone can increase during this process of demonstration. And here's the stopwatch begins and here's a game Genshin Impact game and right now look at the temperatures in the beginning it's of 36 degrees Celsius as you can see even clearly and my room temperature is 34 degrees Celsius so 36 and 36 degrees let's see how is the overall gameplay experience going to be there while using the game frame interpolation I like to show you the real time refresh right now I did enable the real time refresh rate option as well so which will definitely show you what is the refresh rate right now I'm trying to run so you can clearly see when it's showing about 90 hertz so 90 hertz is a refresh rate right now we are getting since we don't have any kind of real time fps in this uh, font touch UI exactly right now so right now using the 90 hertz so in the beginning i did feel a little bit kind of lag yes a little bit lag is there at this moment but after some time it became slightly kind of smooth but occasionally there is a lag as you can see friends sometimes there's a frame drops are happening at this moment exactly when i'm trying to move around Sometimes it's kind of happening and let me show you the settings what I'm trying to use I'm trying to use with the maximum settings as much as possible Just to give you a clear idea as you can see here friends Some of the users I did mention to turn off the motion blur as well So that might be a slightly kind of smooth experience, but right now I did turn off the motion blur at this moment You can see the overall gameplay experience So playing at the 90 FPS 90 Hertz right now And yes, there is a lag little bit yes while playing i can see that kind of uh, like frame drops happening a lot at this moment exactly even using with the game frame interpolation also there are frame drops happening yes occasionally there are like no, normal shutter lags are going on at this moment exactly I just thought of uh, showing you clearly friends what's happening with overall FPS yes as you can see friends clearly there are some lags happening in the Dimensity 8100 processor it was able to maintain pretty good in the Dimensity 8100 processor but no oh my God. yes they are I mean the just in the basic level only friends in the beginning itself but still I'm trying to experience this kind of lag even in the basic level if there is any kind of real time ref refresh rate option then that will be really great we can actually see exactly what's going on as well as you can see there is some kind of lag happening exactly some Right now as you can see friends, using the game for interpolation I am trying to play the game. Overall you will be able to feel the little kind of lag but let me to disable the game frame interpolation let me to play the game. No, it feels not smooth. No guys, I can actually feel that kind of difference. Yes, there is difference when I am trying to move around. It's not smooth. No, it's not smooth. If I did to enable the game for interpolation, then it's smooth, yes. So there is a difference with and without game for interpolation and definitely game for interpolation makes a lot of difference and we cannot use both at same time. Stable frame rates and frame boost frame rates, we cannot use both at same time. Stable frame rates is not that helpful for me friends, like I cannot feel much kind of difference but using with the game frame interpolation, I mean boosting fps that that is quite helpful because i can actually feel the difference like in terms of the smooth graphics scrolling around after playing kind of close to four minutes of time temperatures did increase up to 41.8 degrees 42.4 from 36 it did increase on the back side you can see 40.2 degrees is the highest just for playing about for five minutes of time So 
so at least it's kind of playable i would say it's not that um much bad anyway as you can see friends yes there's some lag when i noticed when i'm trying to move around As you can see friends exactly there is some lag going on at this moment right now while playing. This is small information which I thought of just letting you know after playing for about 5 minutes of time the temperatures did increase up to 43.2 degrees celsius. 43.2 that's very high temperatures I can definitely say that. Using with the game for interpolation at 90 fps I am trying to play the game. So playing the game for about 6 minutes of time. 43 degrees celsius let's do the normal fight As you can see friends, overall, the gameplay was not bad. So very smooth experience I can definitely say. That. For me, I, I did like this kind of game frame interpolation. With and without, there is a difference is there in this device. That's kind of true, exactly. After playing about for 7 minutes continuously, the temperature did increase up to 43.6 degrees, 44.2, 44.4. We are seeing pretty high temperatures, 44.4 degrees Celsius. Just playing non-stop for about just only 7 minutes and this is just the only basic account only friends, not the like uh, high level account I would say. Let's wait for the 10 minutes of time. Let's see in 10 minutes how will be the overall heating happening in this device. We will try to see exactly in 10 minutes of time. Right now as you can see how is FPS is going on at this moment exactly. And there can be some kind of lag as well sometimes but not always. 44.4 is the highest so far the temperatures did 44.6. I think it's kind of close to 45 degrees as well if I had to play the game. Now I started to notice, now the FPS automatically decreased to 60 Hz. As you can see it became to 60 Hz. I did try to use the game for interpolation. No, it's not working, it's not working right now. I think because of high temperatures maybe it's not working. 44 degrees Celsius, 45.2, 44.4. So maybe that's the reason why it's not working at this moment I guess. 44 degrees Celsius, now it feels lag. 
yes now it feels let me to close and open the game let's see what happens like closing and opening the game sometimes it might uh regain that kind of game from interpolation yes it now it's working so maybe in case if you experience like this try to go to the home screen and try to open the game again you might be able to get that kind of 90 90 hertz again back So for this a quick uh, demonstration friends now yes little bit kind of lag i can notice here right now that's it friends thank you for watching after playing for about 10 minutes of time the temperatures did increase up to 44 degrees is the highest 44.6 meanwhile signing off friends thank you for watching and instead of more updates and using with the game frame interpolation you can actually get really very good fps not bad using with the game from interpolation as you can see now i can feel lag when i'm trying to move around So right now I'm getting 120 hertz. I'm not getting that 90 hertz again. So it's, but still it's kind of really smooth. That's it, friends. Thank you for watching the Swift mode updates and this is a quick Genshin Impact gameplay review on the Icon and AC device. And temperature seems to be increasing slightly, kind of higher too in this process of demonstration as well. It's something you should know about the temperatures. Meanwhile, signing off, friends. Thank you for watching. I'll instead of more updates and. Bye.